What's going on guys, Twin coming at you with another MLB The Show 19 video. Today we're going to be drafting 99 overall Babe Ruth. In my opinion, one of the best, if not the best hitters here in MLB 19. So we're going for 199 or more likes on this video. Subscribe if y'all are new on the road to 44,000 subscribers. In the comment section below, let me know your thoughts on the gameplay trailer for MLB The Show 20, as well as your thoughts on the new legends, including David Ortiz and Mariano Rivera. Feel free to follow on any of those social medias. And after we draft this team i'm going to try to start off at least one and oh with the team that we draft here today i personally love it i've been wanting david ortiz in the game for a long time i'm excited for mariano rivera even franco the uh the lefty end of the bullpen man i think that's going to be a great addition for ranked season so let me know your thoughts as well babe ruth first round first diamond round here we go Ooh, matt adams could be a good pinch hitter we're going to grab him as a pinch hitting card for now hopefully a pinch hitter. i don't really want him on my starting lineup Let's see. Charlie Culberson could be a speed guy off the bench. I also don't want to get too late into the rounds and not have a bullpen have to use, you know, silver rounds, stuff like that on starting pitchers. So I'm going to go Luis Gohara here for the starting pitcher. Ooh, that's tough, man. This is a tough round. Will Harris, not a great pitch selection for him. So I don't really like that card. Brandon Phillips, good hitter. Has some contact, has a good amount of power as well, good vision. I'm going to go Brandon Phillips. I feel like he's a clear choice for me in that round right there. If he would have made a different decision, let me know. Tyler Thornburg, let's just grab one righty in the pen so far. Ooh, that's tough, man. Travis Jankowski has some speed. Yandy Diaz can play a lot of positions if we need. I'm going to grab him as a utility guy just for hopefully later on. Hansel Robles, I've used him only one inning. Not a huge fan of his pitch selection. Tommy Edmonds, switch hitter. We can grab him in that silver round there. Darren O'Day, I probably should grab because of the amount of success I've had with him. Carson Kelly, not bad either. I'm going to grab Darren O'Day just because I have had a good amount of success with that card. Robinson Chirinos, a lot of power. Keone Kella, no earned runs allowed ever. Only three innings pitched though. Robinson Chirinos with that pop in his bat. 2 for 14, though. I have not done well with this card. Probably because of low vision. Mm, that's tough. I'm going to grab Keone Kella. I hope that wasn't a stupid decision. Nick Castellanos could be my right fielder. He's great versus lefties. Johnny Bench has done well for me in a small sample size. Hmm. Matt Bush has done great. Actually, I'm going to grab Matt Bush. He's my go-to righty. Hopefully, you guys don't hate that decision, but he's my go-to righty. Rex Brothers guarantees us a lefty in the pen. Gold round, Michael Conforto. I love that lefty with the pop versus righties. Jorge Posada, switch hitting, diamond catcher. Let's go, let's go. And I'm going to do Jason Vargas for a starting pitcher. I need some common rounds, man. This is what I did not want to have happen, okay? If I choose Ender and CR or Manuel Margo, I'm going to only get pitchers. And there's a chance we get gold and silver rounds for all the rest of those rounds until we fill that stuff up, which I do not want to have happen. I also don't want Jeff Samarja. So I'm going to go Ender and Ciarte. Please don't give me a gold round. Please give me some commons and bronzes. Okay, there's a common round. Let's get the lefty. There's a bronze round. Let's get another starting pitcher. I'm fine. Hey, starting pitcher, starting rotation filled. Let's go. That makes me happy. No lefties though, man. Come on, game. We want some lefties in here. That's what we need. Let's just check all of them. So one inning pitch, no earned runs. Six. Mm, no. Uh uh. Uh, that's actually pretty solid. That's pretty much all battle real right there, and that's that's pretty good. Actually, maybe he's on my team for a bit. I don't know. That's a lot of innings pitched though, and, the, and not a bad ERA. Not amazing. I like his pitch selection the best out of anybody. I already have righties though, but we we have to choose a righty here. And now we get a lefty. We get one. Ryan Buckter. He's probably my go-to lefty. So for the bench, let's do let's do speedster with some I guess with some power, a little bit of power, not a lot. Let's do let's do the power bat of Chris Shaw right there. Silver round, gold round. I'm looking to replace third base, first base. That's what I'm looking at right now. Is third base and first base. I want Eddie Murray at first base. That's what I want. And now for the gold round, we need the third baseman. Kevin Biggio or Tatis? So let's see. Eddie Murray at first would put me with three switch hitters, three lefties, and two righties. Actually, no, no, no. Sorry. Three switch hitters, three lefties, and one righty. 
So I kind of want Tatis for another righty in there. I think I might put Tatis at third. Let me know what you guys would do down in that comment section. Kevin Bijou at third or Tatis at third. I think I'm going to do Tatis. Kevin, one for eight. Tatis, not great as well, but six for 21. And I'm hoping to get that up just a little bit here. One more round to go. And we'll get a backup catcher just in case. Who knows? I'm going to go ahead, make this lineup. Then we're going to try to start off 1-0. With the team we're playing the miami marlins i'm curious to see what you guys think of the lineup that i went with for this team our opponent has 99 tony Gwynn and mitch garver 96 jeff mcneil ben zobris byron buxton aledmes justin smoke interesting lineup really interesting lineup eduardo nunez and then miguel diaz on the mound hopefully righty i went with conforto leading off and with battle royale only having three innings i want to try to get my best hitters the most amount of opportunities as they can but babe ruth i think i would rather have him batting third instead of first just so we can hopefully have some guys a couple guys maybe on base for an rbi opportunity wow i think it's gonna drop yeah it's dropping babe ruth with a base hit okay well we had our first two guys out and then that's somehow falling for a hit i'll take it we're gonna try to take advantage of it but i honestly expected that to be a one two three inning based on the contact i'm not I just, I don't feel, like, some days I don't feel good when I play this game. And today is one of those days. It's just, I'm not tracking the ball well out of the pitcher's hands. That's a pitch down the middle from a lefty to a batter from the right side of the box. I'm late on it. I'm dropping the PCI. Like, so far in this first inning, at least, it's not seeming like a good day for me. And it's driving me crazy. As we're in a 3-2 count, runner's going to be going. Something into the gap in right center could potentially score the run. I try to go the other way with it, a little bit on top of that one. I hope I can pitch well today because hitting, it's not looking too hot after that first inning. Do any of y'all shop at Costco? And if you do, have you ever had their cinnamon sugar butter loaves? I think that's what it's called. It's kind of like bread. It, like, it comes in a pack. It's like three loaves of bread, and it has like a cinnamon sugar kind of coating, and it tastes a little bit buttery. It's just really good. I don't know. Have you guys ever had that? There we go. Out number two. So there's a switch hitter coming in. I should probably go to my bullpen. I still have my starting pitcher in the game. And I've made dumb decisions before where I'm like, okay, you know what? We have two outs in the inning. I, I could leave him in facing a switch hitter, but I'm going to bring in Matt Bush. I've had a lot of success with this card in Battle Royale this year. And I'm hoping that this run, this game, this at bat, this opportunity is the same. I got away with one, just like my opponent got away with a few in the top of the first inning. After one, it's not looking too hot for either of us. Only one hit, and it's 0-0. Let's see what the rest of my lineup can do. Hard of the order coming up. Tatis Jr. coming up. Got to get that average up just a little bit. Ball four to Eddie Murray. There we go. One out walk here. Top of the second inning. Tani Edmond coming up. Tommy, not Tani. Tommy Edmond. At least it's not a double play. You know, we're happy about that. And Ender and Ciarte going to try to do some lefty on lefty. I was expecting the inside pitch. We got the inside. We got the inside pitch. And I'm going to. Yo, I don't want to take out. Matt. I don't want to take out Matt Bush. I really don't want to. Because I, I can't hit. I, I feel like. I feel like I'm not going to get a hit with a pinch hitter. I don't have confidence in my hitting. I probably should because if I don't, then I feel like I'm setting myself up for failure. But I don't right now. And that one is off of Tony Gwynn. That's disappointing for our opponent, not for us. We'll see if Matt Bush can maybe get a two-out rally continuing. The good news is we have Matt Bush on the mound. He's going to pitch a 1-2-3 inning or at least a shutdown inning. And then we have the top of our lineup coming up to put us in the lead in the top of the uh, third inning. So that's the good news. Justin Smoke fighting it off to speed so he's not going to beat it out. Anybody else in the game for the most part probably would have beat that out. I think even Yasmani Grandal in his nine speed could have beat that out. Michael Conforto coming up to bat. Still lefty on lefty, man. Take out Jesus Lozardo, please. I can't hit him. Look at that. What am I doing? I'm making terrible decisions. I'm pretty sure our opponent brought in Lozardo to face Brandon Phillips in the top of the first inning. And here he is again, facing him again. 
Let's see if we can have a different result in that first at bat. Ball four to Brandon Phillips. Babe Ruth coming up, trying to be two for two. Babe Ruth destroys the pitch. He's two for two today. Ground rule double, two guys in scoring position. Jorge Posada with a three run. Home run into the parking garage. Let's go. Three to nothing here in the top of the third. And we have Matt Bush on the mound. Eddie Murray. I thought we just destroyed that one. Final line at the top of the third inning. We are on our way to the bottom of the third inning. Eduardo Nunez leading off. I'm going to go the inside fastball. I do this a lot where I accidentally throw it down the middle. Trust me, I don't try to throw it down the middle. In previous versions of the show, I have not had this much trouble locating pitches. I promise you. And I don't know what happened this year, but all of a sudden, my pitching is not the worst it's ever been because I feel like I'm... I'm being less predictable, but in terms of locating, I want to say that my pitching is the worst it's ever been this year. In 18, 17, 16, 15, it was not nearly this bad with pure analog. And I've, I've tried, like, believe, oh my goodness, stop it. What am I doing? I've tried meter. I've tried classic, right? Like, I've tried pulse. I've tried these other variations of pitching, and it just has not gone well for me. It's gone worse than pure analog. So I don't think me switching to a, uh, a different, you know, pitching style is probably going to solve my issues. I've tried it. It hasn't worked out well. The biggest thing is I think I need to focus more when I'm pitching because a lot of times I'm sitting here kind of on autopilot and I don't think I'm trying hard enough. As, as silly as that might sound, I don't think I'm trying hard enough to locate the pitches. So like, let's see, that's inside. Let's look down at my controller. Up and I swear I, I'm up and to the left. I don't know what I'm doing. I, I literally held it in place. It's up and to the left and it just went straight up. I, I, I need to figure out why I do that. Maybe, maybe I'm not taking the, the best route to the up and to the left. Maybe I'm going straight and then up and to the right. I don't know, but I swear that happens all the time where like I, I, I finish up and to the left, but the result is up and straight. So I, I need to figure out why that happens. If you guys have any pure analog pitching tips on maybe ways to solve that let me know as we get the win we hold on it got a little bit stressful at the end but we held on we secured the victory if you guys enjoyed the video be sure to leave a like subscribe comment anything down below feel free to follow on any of those social media sub to the fortnite channel all that good stuff i'll see you next time thank you as always for watching i'll see you next time though thank you i love y'all peace out